Welcome to Caravanning Max and to April's Vanners collaboration video. This month each of the Vanners taking part has the opportunity to chat with another YouTube Vanner about themselves and their channel. And if you click the tile at the end of this video, it will take you to the playlist and you can watch all the videos in this collaboration. Well everyone, as you've seen, for this collaboration, we've got the chance to find out a bit more about a fellow Vanner and YouTuber. Mm. And today we're really pleased to say that we've got the chance to talk to someone whom you will have watched and find out a bit more about him and his channel. So it's a big welcome to Paul Robson from Rolling with the Robsons. Hi Paul! Like many YouTube viewers, we've watched a lot of your videos and enjoyed them. And we're really delighted to get the chance to chat with you today. Yeah, but first of all, can you tell us your name and the name of your channel? First question, we are a family of five who use our caravan for kind adventures and our channel name is Rolling with the Robsons. So, can you tell us a bit about your particular setup? Do you have a caravan, a motorhome or a camper van? Our current setup is a Bailey Palermo 2017 caravan, so 7.9 metres long by 7 foot 4 wide. It has double bunks at the back, side dinette and a front area. That's our current setup for our caravan. How long have you been camping or caravanning? We've been caravanning I think since about July 2016, um, which when we first bought the caravan and we've been caravanning ever since. So, can you tell us how old your channel is and what made you decide to start a YouTube channel? In terms of this, this channel that we're on now, we started our journey in, I think, November 2018 and we've been making videos ever since then about caravanning, different things to do with caravanning. And yeah, it's going well so far, we'll just keep it up. Can you tell us how you first got started in caravanning? I got into caravanning in July 2017, I was wrong before. Um, we had a car that already had a tow bar on it, a Peugeot 508, which was a nightmare to tow with, but apart from that, it did a job. Um, and my late father had passed away and we were left a little bit of money, not a great deal. And at first I said to Lisa, let's go and camp. But because of my hair fever and asthma, she vetoed that straight away and said, in fact, what we're going to do instead is if you want, we can get a caravan. Because you've talked about having one before, um, and that's how we got into it. Um, you're obviously great believers in family caravanning. Could you tell us what do you think are the benefits that you and your family get from going caravanning? Yes, obviously, like uh, we said before, we are a great believer in family caravanning. The kind of key benefits for us is we have a very, very busy family. The children go dancing. I'm at work a lot. Lisa's at work a lot. It just means that when we have those weekends, we can have more quality family time. We're actually all together. And because it is a bit of a confined space, that can be good and bad, but generally we find it a good thing because it just means that we are together as a family, we get to do things as a family, watch films, play games, grow together, and it just means that we know that time is dedicated to just spending time as a family rather than all of a hustle and bustle and family life. Of all the places that you've been caravanning with your family, what would you say would be the most favourite that you've been to and why? The places we've been, the best place I think we've probably been to was still France. I do like lots of parts of the UK, including Scotland, but for the girls, I know for a fact that if I asked them the question, they would definitely say France. Now, we've actually been to France twice due to COVID restrictions and all that kind of joy. We were actually going to go in the caravan and then Boris came on at 10 o'clock at night saying we couldn't. So, um, yeah, France played the best place was because the girls enjoy the weather's great. You get out and do things. That's one thing the UK doesn't really have the weather all the time. Um, and there's plenty of slides and lots of activities to do on the campsites. Um, so the girls always really enjoy that. And we're looking forward to hopefully going back abroad this year. And there'll be more on our channel later in the year about where we're going. By coincidence, we've got a caravan trip planned for the North East later this year. Is there a place or an area that you would recommend that we just shouldn't miss? So if I was to say places to go in the North East of the UK that we've been, because I know that you're going to come up here, for me, it's probably Northumberland. Northumberland knocks the spots off anywhere probably else, I would say, in my opinion, in the northeast or the main northeast. We take out Yorkshire out of it um, because it just has stunning scenery, amazingly long beaches, great places to eat, 
and it's just kind of a nice quiet area, nice and tranquil. Uh, so for me, Northumbria, which is somewhere I go all the time, even I actually work in that area, is somewhere I'm always drawn back to because I think it's so peaceful and quiet. And like I said, the beaches are absolutely epic. So definitely make sure you come to Northumbria if you come to the North East. Is there anywhere in the UK or Europe that you haven't yet been to that you would love to visit with your family? In terms of places we've not been to yet and we'd like to go, well to be fair I'd like to go further up in Scotland I'm still a little bit uh, worried because our outfit is 8 metres long and then the cars whatever so it's about 13 metres in total. So we thought about going to further up to Scotland in the Highlands but we've just been put off about people talking about the drive and single track roads or a big caravan reverse. I mean I can do that but it's nothing I generally enjoy so that's something that we've never been before. Another place we'd probably like to go but I haven't been as of yet is Cornwall. Um, for us it's more the drive that we're spending seven to eight hours to get to Cornwall and then because we're in the UK you still got the joys that the weather can be hitty missy so we spend the seven to eight hours getting to uh, Dover and getting the ferry instead so we've never been in those places but it's some place we let it go and my wife also wants to go to Wales but again same thing you're talking for us from our area seven to eight hours just to get into the northern part probably mid part of Wales so we haven't been in those places yet and that's probably the reason we haven't been so far. Thank you very much for giving us your time today and for sharing things with us. Indeed, and we do hope that you go on and continue to have great success yeah. with your channel and that you and your lovely family enjoy many more trips away together, especially this coming summer. Mm. Now, we know that was just a very quick look at your channel, but we can assure all the viewers that there's lots and lots of really good stuff on Rolling with the Robsons, and we do encourage you, please do go and look at Paul's channel. Well, that brings this month's Vanna's collaboration video to a close. Mm. We hope you enjoyed it and do please go to the Vanna's collaboration tile on the closing page and check that through to the playlist and there you can watch all the videos in this collaboration. Yeah, we can't wait to see what the other Vanna's have shared about themselves and their channels. Should be fascinating. Should be. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, do please click a like and think about subscri subscribing if you aren't already with us. And if you want to watch the next video, just ding on that notifications yep. bell icon. If you have any questions or comments, do the usual thing, put them onto YouTube, or use our email, Twitter, or Facebook pages. Details of those are also on the closing page. Yeah. So until the next time, when we hope you'll, we'll have your company again, thanks very much indeed for watching. Thank you. Until then, stay healthy, travel safely, and as ever, Keep calm and caravan on. <laughs> it's cheerio from the max. Bye. Bye.